You know how they say you eat with your eyes? Mmm. My Ooh. eyes are feasting. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Hot Pop Boys. We got David, Nail, Andrew from the Fun Bros. As you guys know, we like trying all different ranges of Chinese food from traditional to contemporary, and that's what brings us here today. Bro, we came all the way to Irvine. Woo! Hell of far from where were we at, man? When you think of Irvine, I think of what is nationally consistently ranked as one of the best suburbs on planet Earth. When I think of Irvine, I actually think of a upper middle class blend between East and Western culture. When I think of Irvine, I think of all the hot chicks at UCI. Today, we came all the way to Irvine to try what is potentially the most contemporary dumpling chain on planet Earth. Jia 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 Jia. Hop Hop Boys, let's go. All right, everybody, we have just got the Jia Jiaozis. And if you guys don't know, Jiaozi in Chinese means dumpling. And this is what we got in front of us right now. We got Ooh. different colored Jiaozis. Yo, you yeah. know how they say you eat with your eyes? Exactly. My eyes are feasting. The yep. color of these Jiaozis, AKA dumplings, is based off the natural ingredients that are different in each dumpling. This is not artificial. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you remember which one is which? I do. Absolutely. With vegetable, chicken. All right, this one's pork, this one's shrimp, fish. and fish. So they have a house sauce that's a pre-mix. I'm gonna try the pre-mix, man, because I already yeah. know what I like. Listen, I am the food oh, mixologist. I'm gonna do one part soy sauce, tab. two parts vinegar, chicken, chicken with, with pumpkin skin. skin. Initial thoughts? Light, light and healthy. But I would say I've had chicken dumplings before, and I thought that this one was one of the better ones I've had. So it was like an XLB at first, you know, with the juice. The skin is a little bit thicker and a little bit more chewy, but it has flavor yep, in itself. Yep. You know, these are chun jiao. Chun jiao means steamed. I think a lot of people, they think, oh, either pan fried or boiled. Right. Actually, there's a third option that is the best option. Steam. Steam. Steamed, yep. Here we have the red cabbage skin, but this is a pork filling. It really tastes the beef. Wow. Yeah, mm. dripping in red sauce. The red cabbage, bro, mm. with the sauce, I felt like the sauce mm. really accentuated the red cabbage flavor. It did, flavor. it did. Even more, it came out strong. I, mm. I actually like that one a lot more than the chicken one. Veggie dumpling with spinach skin. Mm, super veggie. Oh, crazy. You got some tofu in there, look at that. Super light, man. Yeah. Like a, you could probably eat like 50 of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had veggie dumplings before. I thought the quality in this is good. I think it could have been packed a little bit more. No, I was just gonna super. say, to compensate the amount of skin, it yeah. could have been packed a lot more veggies in there. Yeah. This is a fish dumpling with cuttlefish skin. I like Ooh. dumplings before. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Yo. Mm. Wow. Y'all yeah, got that on camera. Y'all, you got the ocean dripping out of it. made it squirt. Oh, I'm gonna turn this. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh! I'm dipping it. Mmm. That's actually one of my favorites so far. Here we have the traditional shrimp jiaozi. No flavored skin. Mmm. For I'm shrimp. like a hot cow. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. So for me, you taste the sauce the most because that's more of like a blank slate. Favorite of the colored ones? The red cabbage. I actually really like the cuttlefish one. The black one. Oh! I was gonna say that, but... Since it's, this is a close second, I'll roll with this one, the chicken one. I always tell you about these Hangzhou jiaozis I had. Oh, yo, you they were like reminisce about that. Yeah, that are like hybrid Shaolin Bao jiaozis. And this was the closest thing in America. Not every jiaozi with soup is a Shaolin Bao. I think we associate soup dumplings with Shaolin Baos, obviously. They can actually even be a little bit different. The reason that Jia Jiaozi is considered the most contemporary dumpling house in America is because of that platter. Yep. You're changing the complexion of the way a dumpling tastes by experimenting with the skin, the filling, the juices that then come out of the filling. Mm -hmm. We had the steamed ones. Here are some boiled ones. This is the boiled shrimp. This is the boiled signature one. This is pork and shrimp. You know, for me, guys, my ranking goes steamed, boiled, pan fried at the bottom. Oh, facts. Yo, I, I feel like you switched up, David. Maybe I'm trying to ride the healthy way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the Let's signature. Try the signature. They, they stuck to each other. Oh, damn. This is the hot pot boys right here. Right, okay, and you know what I noticed about their dumplings here? And that one was really good. Very subtle, high quality, small. Yo, but I will say this. No matter what the filling was, they all taste relatively light. Yeah. When you pour the juice out, it's not super fatty. That's boiled shrimp. Okay. You know what it is? I would say that original one with the pork and shrimp, 
does rank in my top three of the dumplings I've had so far. I actually like the boiled shrimp. I'm, yeah, I'm ready with the shrimp. Really? Really? The boiled yeah. shrimp was really, really okay. good. All right, everybody, we just finished with the jowzas. Now on to round two. Here we have the apps and veggies. Let's yeah, go to mushroom first. Notable that they have sliced little lines on top just so that they know the truffle sauce is going to go straight in. Light truffle Light. flavor, but it's there. I'll just go for the cactus. Cactus. Side. Here you got some goo from the uh, cactus, I believe. David, moving on. The string green beans. beans. The string beans, green beans, whatever you, you want to call it. You know what? The first thing I noticed is the amount of shrimp paste and chilies on uh, here is on another level. Got a nice little crunch in there. Double Those A1. are good. All right, spinach. Clean. No. Just clean. I think they cooked it in a broth. That sauce is really nice. There are very traditional elements, and there are very like fusion elements, like this dish right here, I'm assuming. I feel like the traditional part is the beef roll, and then the obviously the fusion part is the salsa. What you guys? Beef with salsa. Oh. Oh my, you guys, I like that a lot. You said Beijing is very like desert-like. Yeah. That dish is very desert-like. Oh, right? yeah. And mm. it's fascinating because it's almost like fusion, but fusion from a Chinese chef. Let's try this uh, chicken roll. You have a chicken breast wrapped around some cucumber in a chili sauce. Mmm. That's good. You got a little bit of that mala kick. Pa -pa. Pa -pa. All right, we're going for the okra, guys. Okra up. A southern favorite, guys. Mm. Some people might think that this gooey texture is gross, but that's how all okra is. I actually really like that. I love this sauce right here, that sun. The main theme that has stuck with me is the qualities there and you feel light. Yao Jiaozi, obviously, it does pride itself on no preservatives, no MSG. MSG is not the worst thing, but let me tell you this, that is not traditional to Chinese food. All right, guys, we just finished round two. What was your favorite? Oh. Ooh. If I'm thinking visually, with the mushroom caps. Okay. Just like we used to rock the mushroom top. Da, 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 Every Asian has had the mushroom top in their lifetime, at the least mushroom once. Cut. Okay, now on to round three. The elevated fried rices here at Jia Jia Oh my oh, gosh. Man. Obviously you have a classic shrimp fried rice. This is a beef mushroom and cheese. Wow. Almost looking like a risotto. You have a uh, chicken quinoa, and then you have a vegetable quinoa. Ah. This one's the veggie one. Mm. That egg is super fluffy. I think immediately you gotta compare it with the chicken one. If you're worried about your health, quinoa fried rice is a great substitute. I know which one's better, the edgy one. Chicken one's too dry. Even the corn made it juicy. Yeah, yeah. Look, man, this is almost like a long guy, but it's like, uh, it's got cheese in it. <laughs> mm, beef and mushroom, an amazing mixture of umami. Cheese actually having umami flavor. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. This is good. Wow. That is unique. You look like Mark Weens, bro, when you took that bite. And, and that was natural. Don't we all have a little Mark Weens in us? So you got little bonito flakes on top. You have some pepper. You have shrimp. You have egg. It's got to be the lightest shrimp fried rice ever. All of the shrimp is good, though. Bro, wow. that shrimp is juicy. This and the dumplings is what Ja Jaws is about, man. I swear, that's what's setting them apart, man. Round four is actually back to the dumplings because we are at a spot called Ja Jaws, by the way. David, you have the pork and celery boiled dumpling. Mm. I would say it was a nice switch up. I love how the pork broke down. That was no, the nice. Pork, the pork very soft. Their fish dumplings here at Ja Jaws, you know me, first team all NBA. <laughs> you know me, chive, anything chive, solid. Oftentimes fish dumplings are like fish balls. They're just packed super tight, yeah, yeah, yeah. super firm. I don't like that. This, when you Central. bite it and you eat it, it just yeah. melts in your mouth. Beef and onion jowzas. Obviously, it reminds me a little bit of a Northwestern flavor, yeah. Northwestern Chinese. You can tell there's uh, a lot of juice. Hold yeah, on. It's going to explode in. in juice. Do you see that it's sitting on juice? Bro, hey, shout out to Juice World at Coachella. Dumplings not the same, no. <laughs> no, they're not the dumplings same. not. Dreams. Can I have more beef soup, please? Ten dumplings. All I said I needed ten Yo, dumplings. Yo, that was like a beef broth. That was nice. That was like, uh, kind of like pho, except minus like the cinnamon and star anise. Okay, now we are on to round five. This is already fifth round, man. That's a lot of food. But I will say this, through this excursion of contemporary delicious Beijing fusion food. I feel all right. I'm feeling good. I ate a lot of dumplings, man. <laughs> this is braised beef with quail egg. Crazy. Quail egg and beef at the same Crazy. Crazy. damn time. The yolk is creamy on the inside and then it kind of covers the beef when I eat it. 
Hey, you guys, next up, we've got a crazy dish, bro. Plum and pork belly. Wow. Sweet. Wow. Tastes like a plummy chashu. I've had some form of these, but I've never had Hong Sao Ro that sweet with the plum. Mm. And I've never had this braised beef presented with the quail eggs. Between the two, which one did you like more? I should go with the beef. I gotta go with the pork. And usually I'm team beef. This actually looked really interesting, this cabbage uh, with the tofu skin. The hama is hella strong in it. The garlic and dried shrimp flavor is strong with this one. Mm. Even this dried shrimp is really high quality. I feel like as Kanto's, we definitely can appreciate this dish. Yeah, for sure. And that's the cool thing about Ja Jaza and this chef that's coming up with all these ideas, is that there's influences from Sichuan, from the north, even from the western part of China and the southern part of China. We got a hot my knee. Here's the one feature about this dish that I'm looking forward to. Scallion oil. Mm. I think that scallion oil kind of tones down the saltiness of the dried shrimp, and I like it for that reason. If you look at around us, guys, it's a hybrid between ancient and yeah. ultramodern. Yeah. In terms of ancient Beijing flavors, yeah. but shown in a brand new way. Oh my god. Okay, guys, this is the hot and sour beef noodle. Mildly sour and mildly hot. Ooh. Okay. All right, I think we are on to round six. Liu. <laughs> Liu are Liu. Round Liu. <laughs> this is a Angus beef skewer, but obviously, like we said at Jia ja Jiaozi, they don't do anything just like regular. With our sticks combined, we become the Hot Pot Boys. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yo, my initial taste, I was like, it tastes like a burger. I wish I could eat more. That Angus beef was very tender. No, look very at the quality flavor. of that. that yeah. You know that looks good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit surprised to just see crispy chicken wings on the menu. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of random. I was like, oh, it's not like elevated enough, but we'll see. I feel like the garlic is extra strong. The garlic flavor is punching you in the face. Garlic flavor. You said garlic flavor. The garlic flavor. <laughs> it's bittersweet that we're coming to the end of our meal because we've eaten a lot. This is a cod fried cod sticks. They look like bamboo sticks. Let's see what dressing this is. I was excited by the presence of the shiso leaf in the hey, stick. Hey, mushroom quinoa. I prefer the mushroom king. Yeah, this one's, yeah. this one's bang. Mushroom better than the codfish. We are here again with the venerable Chef Tian. Ni hao. Hey. Ni hao, ni hao. So this is your new restaurant? Yes, yes, yes. We have a lot of meat in the country. We just brought the meat to the country. And then the other meat is going to be together. A lot of Chinese people in the U.S. have already been eating it. 中国菜会很便宜的，所以但是你们在来自这里那个材料比较高一点，价钱也比较高一点，有不同的人群，他们的需求也是不一样的。我们呢，针对的人群呢，希望还是给客人们一种健康，然后精致的一种体验和享受。
was a little bit fancier. It had a, that more done up vibe that you would go there maybe with your family and stuff, you know, it was fancier as far as presentation. Here is a lot more casual and accessible. You know what I do appreciate from both spots is that the quality is always high end and the quality is there. They really focus in on the quality of the food. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that's just something when you eat it, you can appreciate it. I know in the comment section, there's gonna be a debate about like, you know, cheaper, more hole in the wall spots versus more done up spots. But you know, at the end of the day, the most important thing is, is that the whole spectrum is filled out and everybody's just doing a good version of what they are. And I actually think how Jia Jiaozi is kind of uh, preaching and promoting like a healthier style of Chinese food, I think that is actually where a lot of people want to take it. A lot of people have been wondering, can Chinese food still be good, tasty, and authentic, and be healthy? And I think that this spots like this are setting that example. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Big shout out to Jia Jiaozi in Irvine. Shout out to Chef Tan. Uh, shout out to everybody here. And in the comments down below, let us know what you think about the direction of kind of healthy Asian food. I think that healthy Asian food sometimes has a bad connotation to it. You're like, oh, is it made for just American people or whatever? It's, a, it's, a, it's meant to be overpriced. Yeah, it's overpriced. It's cooked by Americans. I don't know, guys. That's not always the case, as you can see here. So. Let us know in the comments down below and also let us know if there's any other spots you guys want us to check out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Like, subscribe, follow us on social media. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Yo, we vlogging in the middle of a video. Yes, yeah, we paused the video just to, no, we're still rolling. Vlog live. Shoot vlog him live. vlogging. Cannon on cannon. Pew, pew.